relentless, ferocious, unforgiving. All these words could be used to describe the severe season in the spring of 2022. And this is why it is number three on our list of the top 10 weather events of 2022. The month of March was extremely active for severe storms in the US, especially towards the end of the month. Back-to-back -back severe weather days on March 21st and 22nd produced major damage across the South. Tornadoes formed from Texas to Mississippi, including an EF3 in the New Orleans suburb of Araby, where several homes were destroyed and dozens were injured, sadly, including one fatality. Things only ramped up in the Deep South on March 30th. An outbreak of 84 tornadoes in just one day, including three EF3s. One of those tornadoes heavily damaged an elementary school and the municipal airport in Springdale, Arkansas. And just five days later, an EF4 tornado touched down in Pembroke, Georgia. Terrifying video shows people locked out of their home as that tornado moved through. This was only one of 100 tornadoes from April 4th through the 6th. Just watched this unfold before our eyes, Jim, and it is amazing, again, of course, always to see it. You see it on radar, but you see it in person, it's a whole other thing, uh, and hope everybody's safe in the uh, path of this. Moderate risks returned only a week later, this time in the form of widespread severe winds and dozens of tornadoes in the south. On the exact same day in the north, large hail fell in Wisconsin and Minnesota. The northern U.S. was hit hard again by severe weather in the month of May, including a derecho on May the 12th that moved over 500 miles across the northern plains. A total of three severe events in just 10 days resulted in over $6 billion of damage in the states of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Nebraska, and South Dakota. The 2022 spring severe season produced almost 8,000 severe storm reports, including a record 234 confirmed tornadoes in the month of March alone. For more on this event or any other of our top weather events of 2022, head over to our webpage, weathernationtv.com. Reporting for Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Patrick Crawford.